Hello and welcome back to Survival Ratio, and what happened to my house? Well, some genius thought it was a brilliant idea to put a tier 5 nuclear reactor in the middle of the town, and that is actually not at all what happened. Uh, most of the people that play on the server decided that they wanted to make a new server, or new world rather, so, I mean, that's what we did, so, I mean, I didn't really have much, but I did go mining after the previous episode, and, well, after the intro, that is, so I guess this is episode 1. Good time to get a, a new episode 1. It's a whole new world, so we're perfectly fine with that, because it's just a brand new start, which I, the only thing I really did was went mining a bit, and I did, in fact, get some, oh crap, I forgot my tree top. I did, in fact, get four diamonds, actually, I got six diamonds, and, of course, I lost them because of the server change or whatever, or the world change, but I did go mining, and somehow I managed to emerge with four diamonds, even though I died about six times, or about nine times, rather. I went into a cave without any, without a wooden pick or anything, because I wanted to go straight to uh, stone pick, because wooden picks I don't really like, because you use them to dig up three blocks, and then you basically, they're basically useless, because you instantly go straight to stone, or at least I do, and, I mean, it just wasn't the best idea, I ended up dying about nine times, it was just terrible. So I wouldn't advise something like that. But I mean, yeah, so somehow I managed, after one time I finally got lucky, and I managed to emerge with a ton of ores and uh, four diamonds. So I actually made this jetpack a little bit ago. I meant to do it on, on the Let's Play on this episode, but I didn't, I forgot. So I do apologize, but I have a jetpack. And what I wanted to do with these 19 level, or... I don't even know what I'm talking about, my 19 levels. Um, <laughs> with my four diamonds, I was looking at this coal and saw 19 from there, and I don't even know where I got levels from. But anyway, I just want to use this four, these four diamonds to obsidian that, of course, you probably maybe already heard in the portal, probably saw it, but it's right there. So there, I do, in fact, have another portal, but that's not really... We're not really going to get into that. We're actually going to be going to the nether fairly soon. And I really need to organize this better because it's just... So far, it's not very good. It's it's like my cybercrack all over again. But I will... I'll, I'll try to fix this as soon as possible. But for right now, this is how the chests are. I'm just going to grab this gravel because I want to grab this rubble wood also. Probably won't do any good, but whatever. So actually, I forgot my sickle. Let me, actually, you know what? No, I don't need it. Let me just build my way up there. There we go. I just wanted to really break those parts down and put that rubber there, that rubber wood there. And we are fine now. Oh, we got another flint, which is actually pretty good because we need one more flint. We actually only needed one more flint. And now we have enough, I believe. If I can find my flint. Yeah. Yeah, we only needed one more flint. And now we have enough to make a macerator whenever we get to it. And I'm just going to smelt some iron. And that's actually enough. So let me just make... Actually, no, that's not enough. My bad. I was completely wrong. That's enough to make one, though. Just put up some the six iron, obsidian, and diamonds. Longfall boots. And, of course, that's not going to do me any good without the other one so there's f that's four and uh wow actually exactly enough iron that's actually not bad so there we go and got our other longfall boot now we have longfall boots awesome i'm going to be equipping these right now and actually it looks like they give me more protection than regular iron because as you can see i'm missing two and a half right now now i'm only missing two i'm just gonna throw these in here and right so I wanted to do the generator, but I figured I'd wait. Of course, I made the machine block, furnace, and RE battery already, so that that wasn't going to be an issue. And I'm just going to throw my electric jetpack in there and just use these picks to fuel it up. And of course, that's not going to get it very far, so use the coal, of course. This is going to take a while. It actually is going to take quite a bit, so let's just try to find my boots there it is and i should probably take a bucket just for good measure um basically i'm gonna be doing a little bit of exploring and pork chops yeah yeah i should probably take those 
I'll just toss that sword in there since it's pretty much broken, and I'll keep this one. Alright, well, I'm just gonna go in the nether real quick, and it's actually gonna stop the... Yeah, that'll actually stop the generator from building or from building power, and there's a creeper, so let's just kill this creeper. Uh, well, that didn't quite work, and actually, yeah, I probably would have taken damage there had I not had long fall boots. I actually completely forgot that I already uh, forgot that I had long fall boots, so yeah, let's, I mean, hopefully we don't really have any issues with anything, but I mean, we might. We'll just see how everything goes, and now we have kind of a little entrance to this cave, I guess. I mean, alright, that works. That is perfectly fine. And I'm just going to put that there and get... Yeah, that... Let me just make this look a little bit better. And there, and there, and of course we need the bottom line, so let me just grab some stuff, and I'm going to just, uh... Yeah, make it look more like a staircase type thing. That actually looks a lot better than it did, except it's the, it's different over there, but you know what? It doesn't even matter. Okay, I just phased through my door, but, you know, whatever. Okay, sweet, it's almost, uh, it's almost charged. So, there's another person on here, Jorium. I'm not really sure how to pronounce his in-game name. Um, so, apparently he's level 50. He needs an enchant, but, you know, nobody has an enchantment table yet. I could have made an enchantment table with my diamonds, but I decided I would rather make longfall boots. And that is because we are be going to be going exploring. And let me just take this coal out, and I just want to burn this pick. And actually, that's probably not... Yeah, there we go. There we go. Almost. Almost. And there we go. All right. Well, now we now that we have our little uh, jetpack. God, I forget what it was called. And that takes my defense way down. Okay. Yeah, we're actually only going to use this whenever we need it. Might not be the best idea. Yeah, probably not the best idea to only use it when needed. But eh, what can you do? So yeah, I'm just looking for. Actually, I don't have any sticks, so I'm just going to make some. There we go. And stone. Need some stone. Yeah, I really need to fix this organization. Really do. But don't worry. I will have organization better organization, maybe. Hopefully. I'm just going to go into the nether. And, of course, I'm taking my boat so I can go in the lava and just, like, drive around on my boat in the lava. Oh, God. Well then, well that sucks, uh, <laughs> we might have to bribe somebody to come light the portal, or just come through. Can you come to my house? <laughs> well then, that's a nice way to start off the first episode ever of any Let's Play, just completely just like get stuck in the nether. Oh god, I don't even know where it is. Um, west of the spawn island. Yeah. Genius. Just get stuck in the nether instantly. First episode. Brilliant. Yeah, I probably should have brought my flint and steel. That, yeah. Yeah, that wasn't a good idea. Oh, great. Well, <laughs> this should be interesting. I'm stuck in the nether. Ah, terrible. Why did... <laughs> Freaking ghast. Um, I th I'm thinking maybe the best way to go about this would be just to die. I'm thinking that would be the case, but... Um, I don't know. Let me just, uh... I uh, don't want to put that down there. Okay, well... Oh god, I hear him again. Ugh. Yeah, from now on, okay, bringing a flint and steel every time I go to the nether, because... Ah, uh, that was just bad. <laughs> Ow! I'm about to die anyway. Yeah, as you can see, though, anyway, uh, there's a nether fortress over there. 
But that really doesn't do us too much good right now. Man. That... <laughs> I feel like such a failure right now. And I'm actually going to just dig my stuff down. Ow! Anyway, I'm just gonna... No, actually, I can't do that. Just dig this part, part out. I'm just gonna throw my stuff down there. And I'm gonna die. And go back to my base. Ah, man. I can't believe that happened. <laughs> okay, guest. Kill me. Actually, I'll just jump in the lava. I swear to God, if you blow up my stuff. Just, yeah. There we go. Well then, that was interesting, to say the least. At least we're out of there now. There we go. All fixed. There we go. Yep, that definitely does work. Alright, well. Don't really need my flint and steel, actually. I mean, it's going to make another portal. But, the thing is... What if this portal breaks? Actually, I'm gonna relay this portal. Cause I'd rather have—I'd rather use that portal. My God, guys, get away from me! I got all my stuff at least. You know what? I'm—I'm I'm just gonna fly up here and kill this guy. Ah, this is—this is not the best idea ever. At all. In any sense. Actually, that, that quite worked. It would have helped if I would have gotten gassed here. But that's alright. That is alright. Looks like this is where uh, another guy on the server named Moon, he actually was on. He came through my nether portal. And I guess this is where he got his glowstone from over there. What was I here for? What was I. Oh, right. Yes, I remember. I remember why I was at the nether. Oh, God. Wow. Okay, well, I, I should probably put out these fires first. Before I really do anything. Oh, jeez. That just a bad start to the first episode. Uh, well, that's alright. I mean, not much we can do about it. We could have brought, a, of course, a flint and steel. But, I mean, not much we can do. I just want to check up on something really quick. I want to see what the Soul, Soul, Soul Forge makes. Or what the Soul Forge requires make. Oh, jeez. Five obsidian and three stone. That five obsidian won't be... It might cause a little bit of problems, because we only have two, but, you know, that's alright. I can go get more at a different time, at another time, and, of course, that can be just be a different episode where I will just make the soul forge, which probably... that That's actually what I plan on doing. I really didn't plan on making the soul forge just yet. But I did plan on going to get some soul stone, so, or soul sand, sorry. Uh, because I do want some soul sand, that way I can at least... Can't, what? A nether? A nether beehive? I never even knew that was possible. That That is very interesting. Well, I'm not really going to change my life, but I mean, maybe I'll use them eventually. I don't really... I'm not really one for messing with the bees too much but I mean yeah just it's pretty interesting to know that there is actually a nether beehive and for those of you that do uh, use the bees mod now you know that there's nether bees and you can come here and get all the bees you want actually maybe not if you're lucky maybe you can find some I don't know how rare bees are I don't know much about the bee mod but I mean, I'm just I'm just here to get soul sand. I, that is my whole goal. Get soul sand. All right, I'm just gonna get a stack actually. And there's 62, 63, 64. All right, well, I guess it's time to get out of here. So I'm just gonna actually kind of want to fly around a little bit, but I kind of don't. Right up here. There we go. Well, we got our mission for this. Um, we have achieved our goal for this little adventure that started out horribly and I heard another guest but I don't know where he is so whatever I mean I'm just gonna go through this portal 
and I'm gonna be perfectly fine and perfectly happy with getting out. Oh, oh, hello, uh, hello, hello there, little or Mr. Pigman. I'm just, you know what? You can you can stay here. I'll I'll let you stay here, just because now I have a pet Pigman. Uh, oh uh, well. Anyway, we now have some stuff, and now it's time to set off on our advent. I'm gonna take this flint steel, actually. Now, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I should or not take it, but uh, yeah, I guess I will. So it is adventure time. Okay, that was completely unintentional, but it is time for an adventure. Yes, I did not mean to reference in any way anything, so yeah, don't hold that against me. So, basically, oh god, there's a spider. Yeah, I do know that that's a spider web tree and that they have treasure and stuff, but I already looked and it gave me some bronze and some iron and like a bucket, I think. Wasn't, it really wasn't the best um, spider web tree. Whatever they're called, spider web great wood. I, I don't even know. I do not have the slightest clue. But anyway, we're just basically going to be. Actually, I should have probably ex explored my island first. My little continent over here. I should have probably explored that before I go off and explore anything else. So anyway, guys, I will. Uh, I will just uh, kind of just go exploring. And if there's anything worth checking out or anything that's interesting or anything of the such I will show you guys I will definitely put that on here and I will have that recording but I think I will stop the recording for now and if I find anything interesting I will definitely start recording again so I will see you guys in a little bit hopefully so guys um yeah I kind of recorded a little bit but the recording was a little bit messed up so I decided to just scrap it and do another one of some of the stuff that I found. I did find a village with quite a few bookshelves and some other stuff and I also found this which was really nice. There's some pigmen around but you know what whatever. And I, in here I found these uh, protection one guidebooks and I found some other stuff like this bucket, cocoa beans, some tin, gunpowder. But yeah the, there's three protection one guidebooks that I found. And hello zombie pigmen. Um, I guess they're just gonna keep spawning that's fine with me I thought this was gonna be like a wisp place which I was kind of dreading because I didn't really want to fight any wisps just because it's not really the smartest thing to do it's especially with what I have it's it's definitely not the best and a creeper blew up so I'm just gonna take all this dirt because you know what I need dirt because creepers blew up at my blew up at my house so I need to of course fill in those holes but, you know, um, I'm just going to keep exploring and see what I can find. So, I mean, I'll see you guys in a bit. And actually, guys, like, two seconds, not maybe not only two seconds, but, I mean, just a couple seconds after I uh, put my recording... Oh, jeez. Oh, hello, skeleton. Get away from me. Yeah, like, just a couple seconds after I stopped recording, I found this. So, I mean, here's another village, which is awesome, because, I mean, we love villages, at least I do. I mean... I can find some awesome stuff in villages. I'm just gonna equip my jetpack actually. Fly up to here. Yep, apiary. So I'm just gonna take the apiaries. And there we go. Sweet. Just got some random stuff that I don't even know. I don't even know how to use this. And actually, yeah, like I said, I'm not really one to use bees mod. But I'm just gonna kill this zombie. Oh, hello, angry zombie. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here. But I am one one to use Thumbcraft, so I will definitely take their stuff. Let's see. Three Thommy Mingots and six Knowledge Fragments, three Glowstone Dust. Of course, it will be more Glowstone Dust now that I break this. Sweet. Well, we got quite a bit of stuff. We should probably actually head, start heading home. Just because, um... Oh, actually, Blacksmith. Uh, maybe not. I think. Yep, Blacksmith area. Sweet. Well, let's see what we can find in here. Steel shovel, six obsidian. Man, why couldn't we have found that obsidian before? Nine steel ingots, iron sword, and bronze helmet. Hmm. What should I get rid of? I'll just get rid of this string. I was... String. There we go. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to be heading home now so that we can, uh... 
So basically, there's some rubber trees actually, but I don't really need those right now. But yeah, so I should probably head home so that I can stash my stuff. And actually, a canvas bag really would re just be really useful, so I'll probably look into making one of those. But it might be a while before I actually am able, able to make it. But I do want to come over here first because I see a, some great wood trees. And I want to know if they are the spider greatwood trees because if they are i will definitely be checking out what they have to offer because spider greatwood trees that one isn't but we will see about the other one and i'm just gonna eat this cooked pork chop there we go some more food to deal with and let's just see about this one over here this tree not a spider greatwood anyway if you guys don't know spider great what i'm calling spider greatwoods are basically Great wood trees with spider webs on them. They have a spider spawner underneath the tree, which you may be thinking, oh dude, why would you even want that? Why would you even want to do, why would you even want to go somewhere near a spider spawner like that? But they're actually useful because if you break the spider spawner, you can, uh, there's a chest under it, which can sometimes contain some awesome loot. So actually that's one of the things that I'm keeping my eye out for while I'm exploring is awesome loot from spider oh there's actually another no that's not another spider web... spider web tree basically i'm just looking out for spider web trees maybe find some awesome loot and of course other villages i'm looking out for and wow we're a thousand blocks from home so yeah let's definitely just uh start heading back and actually you know what i should probably check this for this village for bookshelves probably would have been a smarter idea to do while i was there but yes, I do want to check for bookshelves. Be oh, random stone patch? Alright. Yeah, but like I was saying, I do want to check for bookshelves because bookshelves I definitely need more of. If I can get 15, that would be great because then I can start enchanting max level enchants, which would just be brilliant. And this looks like it may be a bookshelf house. I'm just really hoping that it is. And it is not, and this one is not. It seems like there are no bookshelf houses here. Eh, that, that's alright, I guess. Can't get all the bookshelves. That's alright. We will, we will just uh, head home, and I will see you guys later, actually. This is probably where I'm, where I'm going to cut the episode. So yeah, I'll just see you guys later, and maybe by the, ne by the time I do the next episode, which shouldn't be too long, too far from from uh now maybe by the time i do that episode i will have found some awesome loot which i really hope for a portal gun would be amazing for this because then i could just it'd be so amazing for loot hunting so i uh, yeah i will see you guys later thank you for watching and as always have a nice day